Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Toya from the Classy Sassy Life. Today's video is a tutorial, one that I have been promising for a while, and that's how I did my labels for my subjects at the top of my teacher planner. So, these are the two that I'm going to show you today, and I really, really love how they turned out. I did one, let me zoom in so you guys can kind of see. I did one just white, and the um, subjects were colored. And then I did one where their subjects were white and the backgrounds were colored. And I color code mine and I go through all of the details on how to do that. But before I give you that tutorial guys, this is the type of, and I'm sorry that this looks so just messed up, but it has gone through moving houses and then being stuffed in tons of boxes. So. I'm sorry but anyway you're gonna get the Avery 18 294 there are 60 per sheet so you get a total of 600 labels because you get 10 sheets they're at Walmart for four dollars and 44 cents and you can also order these online as well so that is that's going to be these labels and with me printing two and I accidentally printed an extra of this one so each sheet, if you go on a six week, I mean on a nine week time frame, each sheet is only a week short for each of your subjects. So like these two sheets will essentially get me through the first semester. And then I have another sheet of this, uh, which will get me through um, part of the third semester. So I am going to print another set. Um, probably of these and then I can alternate between the two so make sure you uh, watch the tutorial if you have any questions if anything is unclear you just leave me a comment below I try to answer every single one of my comments or at least like them so thank you guys so much for your support and here is the tutorial right now so I created my labels in Word and the first thing you're gonna do is go over to mailings and then you're going to click on labels when that comes up at the bottom you're going to click on options and then you're going to go and change your labels to Avery US letter then you're going to find your label number so if you're using the exact same labels that I have and the ones that I showed you in the beginning you're looking for 18 to 94 so we're just going to scroll through really quick and select those and click OK. Then you want to select new document. I do that because I want these beautiful grid lines. The grid lines really help me um, when I am designing my labels. So I make sure to click new document. So now that we've done that, now we're ready to actually start um, typing and writing in what our labels are going to be. So for those of you who don't know, I am now switching from um, a departmentalized grade to a self-contained grade. And for those of you who are not teachers, what that means is I am going from just teaching ELA and social studies and, and my team teacher teaching the other subjects to me teaching them all. So I need way more labels than I did previously. So now I need reading, math, science, and social studies, spelling, and writing. And I'm also adding in guided reading and guided math for my small groups, as well as a label for parent contact and miscellaneous. Now, miscellaneous is for me to um, make plans for meetings. And of course, parent contacts is going to be a label that I'm going to use outside of my planner, but I needed the label for that. So I ended up with eight subject labels and five parent contact labels. So now that I've done that, I selected all of um, the boxes and I'm going to change the font. So the font that I'm using is called Strawberry Blossom. I will post a link for you to be able to download this. It is a free font. And then I'm going over to Layout. And over on the side, I am going to click that middle one, that center and align. And then I'm going to go and change the size. So I ended up, I believe, with 28 um, point font for this. And now that we've done all that, now we're just ready to copy. So I'm gonna highlight this row and hit Control C or right click and copy and then highlight the rows where it's going to be pasted into. And then I'm going to do um, the same thing at the bottom. But the one thing I'm gonna do different, I only need five parent contact labels. So I copied it from there and then I'm gonna paste it in those um, five spots 
excuse me, four spots. And then I'm going to take um, the other three labels and kind of put them off to the side. And I did that just because it's 60 labels on a sheet. And so in order to make sure that I get eight, I have to kind of wing it a little bit. But if you don't have as many subjects as I have, you can split it up how you want. So then I'm going to do the same thing, just right click and copy and paste and now we're ready to do a little bit of decor. So you can do your labels in two different ways. Either you can fill them, so as you know I like to color code, so I'm filling them with different shades of blue and green for math and pink and purple for reading and guided reading. And I am just using that fill right there by... Um, the paragraph label but I'm also going to show you how to get to that as well from another screen in just a moment now if you don't see that you can always go to design and right under the design there is your fill but button so then I if I don't want the background if I rather have my colors on my font then I just go to the home screen under the font section and just change those colors now, if you don't have the same color palette that I have there, all you have to do is click on more colors and then it will give you a range of colors to choose from. You can either do RGB or you can choose from the honeycomb that is there. And that's what I did to select my colors. So all I'm doing is making sure that each color um, is on the right words. And my room is going to be pretty bright colors this year, if you can't tell. So that is why I went with this color scheme in my planner as well. Okay, guys, so that's going to wrap up this video. I hope that you could understand everything that I was saying. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section down below. I'd be happy to answer any questions that you have. Keep God first in everything you do. Give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure you check out my video on me setting up my if you have not seen that notification that means you have not clicked that bell make sure that you do that as well and go check out that video and plan the classy and sassy life guys bye